and we've got Zinker. Zinker design in a send cut knife. What? That's crazy, isn't it? The Bockle too. Well, he had a Bockle or Bockle or Bossel or I don't know. I sent him a direct message through Instagram. He hadn't responded yet. So I go, exactly how do you pronounce that? I should have looked up a YouTube video with somebody doing his handmade version. Uh, but this is a send cut. So this is way less than $800. And it's the Bockel 2 Natural G10, Blackstone 1. But you can get this in a lot of different uh, different alternate whatevers. And I'll show you here in a little bit. But this was a sand cut thing, blah, blah, blah. Mr. Brad. Um, and a simple knife in 84, blah, blah, blah. It kind of tells about some of the stuff. Um, but I mean, I've seen pictures of him on his Instagram with his grandson. Uh, apparently he was at Texas show and God, how did I miss him? Um, I must've walked right by him. I swear to God. Okay. 45 smackers. Okay. And, uh, there's some other, uh, variants okay, of that different colors and stuff. Get it, you, you can get it on White Mountain Knives, and then uh, depending on whatever their price is, you can get 10% off with LTK discount code. I don't have one for SendCut, but you can buy it right on the SendCut site, and this is just very redundant. And here, overall, 6.7 inch overall length. Three inch blade, they're saying 2.96. I don't know, maybe that's for ordinance purposes, you know, so somebody could say it's technically under three inches or whatever. Two ounces, okay? So this is just a little cutter in D2. Um, and it is a little cutter in D2. There it is, two ounces. Super lightweight, super lightweight, very small. Uh, but it's his design. We will disassemble it. And we've got, uh, yeah, we've got steel liners. There's a couple standoffs here, skeletonized. So if you don't like this natural G10 or you want just a stone wash blade, you don't want it black, whatever. So you can do that. There's a deep carry clip and it's right hand but no left-hand carry on it. Hmm, okay. I mean, you'd think send cut, like everything ought to be left-hand as well because it's $46 banger, you know? It's not like this is going to be a safe queen or display, you know, uh, beauty or whatever. This is going to be a carry user for you. So, okay, what were we talking about? Yeah, 2.1. Ounces, uh, 59 uh, grams. Not very big. Not very big. No. It is small. And it, I'm going to prove it to you here in a minute. Okay, yeah, it's under 3 inch and about 75 millimeter. Yeah, 6.7, maybe. But 6.68, yeah. Um... It's not quite 17 centimeters, 16.8 centimeters. So, does it cut anything? Well, that would be important, wouldn't it? Okay. Okay, yeah. I mean, it seems pretty acceptable. It's pretty much a standard factory edge. It doesn't seem scary sharp. But it's it's pretty much a factory edge, so it's it's adequate. Um, shouldn't be difficult to resharpen or maintain, being D two, and uh, it's got a little cutaway in here, so you can put it on your strop or your stone or whatever, and sharpen that puppy up. And it's got a little cutaway here, and it's jimmed. And there's your lock up, and that's what. 25 to 30%. Looks like a ceramic detent ball in there. We'll find out. Um, push, and there it drops. 
that's not difficult to do. It's pretty easy to access that. Um, and does it just like drop, drop, shutty? No, but I have a feeling it'll be a bit more compliant when we put it back together because usually these pivots are a little bit tighter than they need to be. And, I mean, people will tell me all the time, oh, I took it apart, lubed it up, and now it's awesome. Well, probably the biggest thing you did is you actually just didn't put as much pressure on the pivot when you reassembled it. And that's a big part of how all of a sudden it's just so drop shutty. Maybe not the lube. You know, it could just be the fact that you made it a little easier on that pivot. So, yeah, open design, easy to clean. Deep carry, and I mean deep carry clip. Okay, they really kicked it right up. Although the pocket clip has nothing to do with the standoff. Sometimes it'll do a standoff near the very end, and then the pocket clip, one of those screws will be the one that goes through the standoff, but not there. Um, oh, I can only imagine this thing's probably not all that thick for blade stuff. Maybe 2.5 at best millimeter. No, 1.9 at 0 0.07. Okay. And let's get a grip on this. Okay, 0.42 at 10.7. There was something I had not long ago. It was like 0 0.40. That's thin, right? This is 0 0.42. That's pretty damn thin right there. So talk about lightweight. Uh, pretty concealable, not a very big knife. Uh, so a, really a budget gent carry, maybe a fifth pocket knife, back up to a main EDC. I don't know. Maybe just a good little user around the house, actually. And then all this, right? It just disappears into the handle. So as far as design flow, pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? And here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, I can't touch the blade. Could it have been maybe a sixteenth more? Maybe. But I guess we're we're at a three inch blade. I mean, I've seen a three and a seven. This is not even a seven. This is six point eight. So this is still adequate for basically a three inch blade, and most of that's cutting edge. So, and it's pretty thin. So this will be good for picking labels and doing all kinds, but just also just everyday cutting packages and chores like that. But can you throw this in your pocket regardless of what you're wearing? Light summer clothing, just don't want a whole, you don't want, you know, a pocket brick in there. This, yes, yes. I mean, that's just so easy to carry so this would be very discreet very lightweight wouldn't even know you had it in your pocket so um this is nice that send cuts getting a brad zinker design hey why not you know i like the idea and the ergos i got all four fingers on here so i guess i'm not going to complain and then mostly uh honey bunny comes home from shopping it's like i'm going to cut a package open I'm going to usually going to do it, you know, like this, uh, sometimes maybe like this, but I mean, rarely do I sit there like this, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you too, right? You kind of just plop a finger over here. Or you're just trying to direct something or damn, I'm going to cut that tape away from there. You know, just, you're trying to guide the blade too and do all that. So that's kind of the way I roll. Um, so you think about a knife and how you're going to hold it until you actually do engage in a cutting test and you realize you're actually holding it different than what you thought. There's that. And what else do you get for your 46 smackaroos? You get a blue microfiber cloth. You get stickers. More stickers. And paperwork warranty. Oh, by the way, and a zipper pouch. Oh, hold on. Now that I'm getting preachy. 
Come on, let's get this. Put that back in here. But you know, I mean, uh, I think there's a lot going into that. There's a lot going into that. And I like Sencut because they're part of Civivi and We Knives. And if they can't make a knife, then I don't know who can. You know, I mean, I think they do a good job. And this one's getting more and more pliable as I keep playing with it, doesn't it? It ought to be it ought to be the cat's meow when I get done after disassembly, which is gonna happen right now. You know, plus just an FYI. Yeah, I mean the detent is where it needs to be. You know, you could it it's it's good, okay. Uh, it snaps, so it's like a no-fault detent, you know, and that's good because the flipper tab's all you got. You can't finger flick this. There's no front flipper. This is it. So you can stand to have a little stronger detent on a flipper only, but it's not obtuse either, so it, it's just where it needs to be. Okay, let's rock and roll. And we could go for the front or the back. I'm just uh, thinking I'm going to try the back first. And that was easy. So let's uh, let's just keep going in that direction. And are these number eights as well? And yes, they are, which is another kind of cool thing. I mean, no more money than you're spending, right? But you're getting number eight body screws. I don't know who's out there that likes send cut products, but... I do. I do. And I think they've got some really bang up designs too. And then they did the Watagua and other things that were, you know, uh, button locks and this thing's going to come apart on me because it doesn't need, I don't need to take the pocket clip off to disassemble, of course, um, because this thing just going to, will pop off and it would take the scale with it. But I thought I'd separate the scale and the liner. And then, of course, we've got a ceramic ball on the liner. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. We're throwing the bearings around. Uh, let's throw them around. There you go. And uh, pop this off. This is all clean and tidy. Isn't it nice? Whew. I don't see a lot of lube there either. But okay. And now we're, we'd be good, actually. Okay. This is kind of strange. Um, dry as a bone everywhere. But, you know, I don't know that you need to engage ceramic bearings with a lot of lube. I know they, they everybody's making lubricants and stuff for these things, but how many RPMs are these things going? I mean, it's not a racing engine, right? So it's going... A half a turn and a half a turn. A half a turn, you know? I don't think they're going to get too warm, and I don't think they, you know, well, never mind. <sighs> if you have a spinner with ceramic bearings, you don't want to put lube in it, right? Because it, it'll slow it down by, what, 35%? Um, you know, well. Okay. Um, but here we go. That's it. Okay. There's your standoffs. I mean, God, it's nice and clean all the way through. Okay, Bockel, Bosel. It's the two. It's number two. It's not the, you know, so this was design that was after one of his custom knives. And we're lucky to have an esteemed knife maker lend his credence to a nice, affordable gent carry that we can enjoy every day. So thank you very much, Mr. Zinker. Hope you're having a good time with your grandkids. It looks like you're enjoying life. And you know what? We do love them knives, too. Yes, we do. So you guys, stay sharp.